Hello. Today we have one more racer for this assembly. The model is Aspire 5253. Uh, the laptop is with a liquid damage that happened about four months ago, and today the customer decided to bring the laptop. Since it's not powering on, and either way I have to disassemble it, so I decided to make a video. Let's start. I don't know what we're gonna find out inside. First thing, of course, we have to lift the battery. We have a screw on the wrong place. This shouldn't be here. So we can expect anything. Now we have to take out the hard drive. Now we're going to remove all the screws on the back, they're the same size, except the ones which are under the battery. We're going to remove the optical drive, after that we're going to flip the laptop and we're going to remove the keyboard first. This is a very common model, so... It should be a quick video. Usually, here on the memory, it should be a white screw, which is a little bit shorter. I don't know who opened this laptop for the last time, but... We have a broken plastic here. Nothing new about this model. Now, since we got all the screws away, except the one here, we're gonna flip the laptop. We try, we'll try to open it and we have to take out the keyboard. The keyboard is held by uh, six, screw, six uh, plastic clips, so we have to put something sharp someplace in the middle and we have to gently try and lift it. Like this. Now, since the keyboard is, uh, I see the liquid damage here. Okay. Now we have to remove a few screws which are under the keyboard. They're shorter. And they're the same size. Now we have to disconnect the touchpad cable and the speaker. This model is with uh, only one speaker plus the power button here. <coughs> now, since we have this out of the way, we have to separate the two pieces, use something sharp.
think someone use a glue here. pretty bad but let's see we have to disconnect the cables for the USB for the optical drive here LCD cable and this I think is the the microphone the whole board is held with one screw on this side of the board We're going to remove it. We have to remove the cooler, the fan I mean, sorry, in order to lift the board, otherwise the VJ connector is blocking, so we have to lift the board and slide it a little bit and just lift slide and remove the power connector Let's just have a look. As you can see, we have a lot of corroded components. This connector is bad. We have damage around the super IO also. And I think I saw Yeah. This connector is also bad. We have a dead cap here, this one should be removed. I don't think this is fixable, but I'll try to clean it first. And we'll see after that. We have some damage here also, I think. No, this is okay. Uh, let's see on the other side. Uh, we have a one spot here around this IC. Can I not on focus? Sorry. Yeah. Well, I think I should stop the video now. It will be just a disassembly video because I have a lot of work. on this part here and I don't actually think it's gonna be a successful fix having in mind that this is very old laptop and I don't know the will the customer agree to the price so basically that's the whole procedure I hope you find it useful Bye-bye for now.